and we lie. So we're doing a late night edition. People have been asking me, can you come on a little later? Because I get out of work at this time. So that's what we're doing. We're getting some people on here real quick. What's up, Easy? Let me know how you're doing, bro. I decided to come on here, man. People are hitting me up, telling me if I can come on a little later. So I decided to come on a little later today. Plus the wife and the kids, they're out right now. So hopefully won't get, they won't be coming to like another 10, 20 minutes when I jump off of here. Which I doubt it because they just went quick to Sam's and stuff. What's up, Miguel, huh? D, what's up? Man, I got a lot of love for y'all, man. I haven't... I haven't met all of y'all in person yet, but hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all real good people and stuff like that. Really good people. So as always, I feel amazing. I just feel sore, man, because I've been working out. So I, I do feel sore. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, did y'all see that food I made today? Man, the, the meals were off the chain, boy. Recipes, man, I'm working on the recipe book. It's just a lot of... A lot of copyrights, man. A lot, a lot of copyrights. So when I'm using something, I got to make sure that either I give them credit or I don't use them at all. So I got to figure out, you know, everything. I'm trying to figure out all that stuff right now. What's up, y'all? So what's up, Miguel? Let me know how you doing, Miguel. Let me know where you at, man. What you weighing now, bro? What you weighing now? Yeah, I, I, I went. I know you went live, and I was going on there, but I didn't see nothing. It just, it just went off real quick. I was. I wanted to ask you, you know, what number your son was and everything. Hopefully, they won. You know, that'd be cool. Uh, oh, it's halftime. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And you could always catch. You could always see it later, man. It's cool. So, uh, <laughs> so easy pulls up a fork and everything. It's because I did a recipe for my wife. I always cook for my wife because, you know, she's a school teacher. So she, her schedule just works better that way. Plus, I'm a good cook. So today I made um, a homemade recipe. It was amazing. It was a um, poblano, a spinach casserole. So good. So good. And, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you all since you all going live. I'm going to tell you how I put it together. So. I put spinach and I put some some um, onions, the the green onions, the stallions, was something like that. I can't remember the name of it, but I put them and I was I cooked the spinach a little bit, just a little bit, and then I I did it with the stallions and the, and then um I put ricotta cheese on the bottom of it, and then I put Monterey Jack cheese and then uh what's the other one Monterey Jack cheese and and uh, uh the Jack cheese the Monterey Jack cheese and the other one. I can't think of it. it's going to come to me right now. It's going to come to me right now. But anyway, so what did you, so what did you drink? Oh, okay. You so say you say you drank. Hey, how did that go? Jessica, how did that go for you, man? That's awesome. man. your wedding's coming real close. So yeah, you know what? We've got to tell you, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention to you, uh, let you know that when you're doing keto and you're doing low carb, you get messed up fast because remember, you're not eating bread no more. You're not eating carbs no more. So your alcohol can't soak nothing up. And I learned that the, the hard way, but that's that's what I should have told you. I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, oh, cool, man. Cool. Yeah, yeah. If I could help anybody, uh, if I could help anybody, D, I'm, I'm here, man. I'm here for y'all, you know. That was supposed to be. Yeah, but that's cool. Way in tomorrow, bro. That's cool, man. I know you're doing good, Miguel. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing your pictures, bro. Um, Okay, cool, man. Cool, yeah. Hey, what's up, Sandra? Man, I, I heard y'all. Everybody's doing great, man. Hope you, and Sarah, what's up, Sarah? So, man, Sarah, you got some awesome prices. I ain't even gonna lie. You got some awesome prices. Um, no, that's actually that's not that's not Sarah. That's my, I'm I'm thinking about uh Padilla. My bad, my bad. Sarah, how you doing? How you doing? And then Sandra, how you doing, everybody? So, um, see, so yeah, I was I was talking about um, so I made that today, and then I made um. Um, I wanted to make something sweet, a dessert, right? Um, so I made a cookie cake, but it was all keto. And I had, um, I put walnuts in there, almonds, uh, macadamians, because, you know, macadamians are the highest on fat. After macadamians, it's pecans. And so we had all that in it. And it, it, it was, oh my God, it was amazing, you know? 
and and I'll show you. I'll show you next time how how I made everything together. You know, and of course, I, I don't think I think out of the box. I do my own recipes. You know, and I'm just keeping them keto way. I'm keeping them clean. So I'll show you. I'll explain to you. I'll show you how I'm doing it. Hey, what's up, Roy? So shout out to Elvira. How you doing? Um, so Roger, what's up, man? How, how's everybody doing, man? Um, the reason that came on real late because um, well, it's not real late for me because I'm going to bed till four or five in the morning, but. Uh, some people were telling me, hey, man, you do your videos kind of early. Can you do one a little later? So I'm off of work and, you know, I can listen to you and stuff like that. And I appreciate that. And and that's why I'm doing one right now. Plus the wife and the kids, they went real quick to Sam's and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, how y'all been, man? How y'all been? Some people are still doing keto wrong, man. Y'all doing keto wrong when there's a better way to do it. Um, shout out to Juan, man. Um, shout out to Renee. What's up, Renee? So Renee, man, Renee does the, the ACs, man. Awesome AC guys. So if you need any AC work, anything you need with AC for your house, hit him up, man. And he could put his business card up there. Put your business card up there, bro, if you like. Uh, if not, you reach me and I can reach him, you know. Uh, so everybody, everybody's always networking. Everything's about networking, you know. Help the next person and they'll help you out, you know. I've, I've always networked with a bunch of people. Uh, matter of fact, we got Halloween coming up. You know, I DJ. So if you need a DJ for your Halloween party, uh, let me know. And if I can't do it, I got some amazing DJs that, that help me out, that work for me, that, that can do it. Um, so that's where we're at, man. That's where we're at. But on keto, man, on keto. So what I mean about some people not doing it right, uh, Juan, Juan's somebody I'm working with right now. He's already losing weight. He's feeling really good. He came to me at 470 pounds. And uh, I don't, I don't want to share his number too many times, but he's fine with it because he's losing weight already. And I just want to let you know that these are the people that I'm coaching, that I'm helping out. And that I'm making a difference in their life. So, um, his sister, his sister wanted to join, but she's getting kind of discouraged. And and that happens to some people, you know. When you're doing keto, you get discouraged. You're like, man, I'm I'm tired of eggs. I'm tired of bacon. I'm tired of this. How could you be tired of it? I'm tired of avocado. How could you be tired of it? If it makes you feel amazing and and it's good, it's good for your health, and it's gonna knock all this weight down. And you're going to feel good about yourself, you know. So it's not that you're tired of it. It's just that you see yourself tired of it. You know, like, is some people out there tired of steak? Are you tired of, of, of the good food? Are you tired of tacos? No, you're not tired of that because that seems like right to you, right? But when you see yourself eating clean in a different way, then it's wrong to you. Then you're like, oh, man, you know what? I'm getting tired of this food. I can't eat this food no more when you actually can. But... When you're doing keto, you have to eat lots of fat. You have to eat 75% of fat, okay? When I see people's comments and stuff like that, and I see their food, and especially people that I've been helping out or they've been looking at my videos or, or, or just anything anything I've been sharing with them. Um, for instance, I've seen somebody that were eating turkey, and I said, uh, turkey's okay, but you want to eat meat because meat is where the fat's at turkey's lean you don't want to eat turkey i'm not saying you can't eat turkey if you like turkey more power to you but if you're doing this keto thing then you want to eat meat okay so and then some people say well you know what i, I get um i can't eat meat i can't eat red meat and i like that well you know what I, there was a time where i couldn't eat meat because it would i couldn't bring it down you know i couldn't bring it down but when you're doing keto the amazing thing about keto is you don't have to worry about that your body is going to get the best it's ever been. You know, some people say, well, I can't eat a lot of cheese because I get constipated. I get this. I couldn't eat a lot of cheese. I couldn't eat a lot of dairy products. I, I was lactose intolerant. Uh, I couldn't eat none of that. Right. And I don't drink. I don't eat. I don't drink milk no more because I just don't like milk. Um, and cheese. I eat cheese probably more than a rat. I got the little the little. The, the string cheese that you eat, you know what I'm saying? And um, so sometimes when your body, the way your body is, your body's going to change. Don't think that you're not going to be able to do it because you are going to be able to do it. Through all these years, we treat our body a certain way. We're eating bad. We're eating bad. Okay, now if you're not doing keto and you're eating all that meat, of course, of course, you're gonna it's going to be bad for you because you're not eating the right food. You're not, you're not eating just the fat. You know, it's crazy because fat makes you lose fat. Fat makes you lose fat. And, and that's just it. Fat makes you lose fat. But look at the best thing about keto. Man, people are no longer diabetic from it. People 
are no longer feeling headaches from it. People are, are not getting bloated from it. People are dropping all this weight. People are feeling amazing, man, amazing. And it's not just so much keto. I coach you to control this, to control that, to control this, to control that for the rest of your life, for the rest of your life. Man, I just ate, I ate a good meal, but I haven't, I go 20 hours a day without eating. And it's amazing. It's amazing. See, so when I'm coaching people, I tell people, hey, you know what? I want you to do keto for about three weeks, four weeks, and then I want you to start intimate fasting. And I'll help you with everything, man. I'll help you with everything. So let's go. Okay, so how are you doing, Estrada? So I've been working out, but don't know what to eat. I still want to stuff myself, help. And you know what? Working out is not just what you need to do. I tell people, I didn't start working out. I barely started working out. And, and you can see that I'm working out now. But I barely started working out, probably like about a month ago or, or three weeks ago. And working out is not where you want to start at. It. You want to start out with keto, if not keto or low carb, because you want to eat, start eating clean. You want to start, and not so much clean, you want to get all that sugar that you've gotten in your body all these years out. Get all the sugar out. Sugar's bad. It's really, really bad for you, you know? And that's how people become di type 2 diabetics. That's how they become um, high blood pressure and everything. And I talk from experience. I had all this done. I was hurting myself for many of years, many, many of years. But now guess what? I feel amazing every day. Every day I feel amazing. Thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, man. I feel amazing every day. And I work hard every day. So, Estrada, what I would do is my, my telephone number is 832-715-2557. Okay, like I said last time, I'm old school when it comes down to something like that. I do not want to text forever because I'd rather talk because sometimes when you're texting, you don't get the same kind of feeling and same kind of effect, and you just don't hear me talking to you. I want you to hear me, I want you to hear me talking to you. So you can call me 832-715-2557. Anytime, anytime, because usually I'm up. If not, I'll get back to your call as soon as possible. But and I'll help you whatever I can help you with. But keto, man, keto is an amazing, an amazing lifestyle. I don't call it a diet, I call it a lifestyle. Because diets, diets work like this. Diets, you, they you sometimes you gotta take shots, sometimes you gotta take pills, sometimes you gotta take certain foods, uh, you gotta eat certain foods and stuff like that. And I'm not saying it don't work. I'm just saying once you stop paying for that expensive stuff you need to pay for and all this stuff like that, you gain more weight. You gain more weight. You know, my wife was always the one having me to buy all kinds of the Kim Kardashian diet, just all kinds of stuff for diets, right? And she has never stuck to nothing till keto came on ball to keto came and i'm so proud of her because she's fasting now intimate fasting i was coaching her in the beginning and now we're doing it together man and it's awesome it's really really awesome you know but guys i really appreciate it. i got more people coming on here man so that that's cool so i guess you know right now ain't a bad time to come on here you know so maybe i'll switch it off you know sometimes you know Okay, yeah, definitely, Miguel. Man, I didn't see that. So, yeah, Miguel, if you need moonwalks or anything to do with parties, um, Miguel, man, he does it. Also, um, my homegirl Tina does it. They do it too. Um, so they do it, man. And um, let me see what we got going on. How do you eat right when everyone else is in the house is stuffing their face? You know what? That's a good question, and I'm going to tell you how you eat right. When I first started keto, no one, and I don't got a, I don't got a big family. I've got my two sons and I got my wife, right? That live with me, right? And I also got a daughter, but she's 25 and she lives across town. But so I understand what you're talking about because my nephew had the same problem because of the boys and everything. Well, this is what happened. Once you start eating right, once they start seeing your weight drop, they're going to want to know what you're doing and they're going to want part of it. Okay. And then you just got to be like if you're making a meal, okay, let's let's just say this. So say you're making um say you're making, let me see, let me think of a meal you're making. Say you're say you're making some some meat with gravy or or meat with chili, right? So usually you would put flour in it, right? So put flour in theirs and keep the flour out of yours. 
um, just keep the carbs out your food. If you're going to eat Mexican food, make them rice and make you some cauliflower Mexican rice, you know, or just, you know, in the Mexican style. And that's, that's what I would do. And everybody's, everybody's always going to stuff their face. We cannot stop them from what they're eating. Look, my sons, my sons, I got one four and I got one seven, about to be eight. I want to stop them from eating certain foods out there, especially nuggets, okay? Uh, they love chicken nuggets. Matter of fact, they're over there at Sam's right now buying the little dinosaur ones, right? And those are the closer ones that I got that I read about them and they're pretty natural and stuff like that. But they're still not as natural as I want them to be. But I can't take my sons, I can't pry them away from that. And it won't be fair because, you know, I was a kid one time and I ate bad and stuff like that. Funyuns is another thing I give my kids and stuff like that. But if you're grown and you want to change, then nobody should stop you. Nobody should stop you. You should understand that when they're eating, like I used to eat six, seven, eight tacos. I used to sit down and get the tacos with the tortilla de maíz and put them in the oil. And, and man, what was I thinking? I would eat these tacos. You know, that's a lot of tacos to eat. Look how much carbs I was getting in one sitting. This is one sitting, right? So now I could still eat those tacos. But I don't, and I still eat the, the, the grease, but I eat olive oil. I don't use the grease. I use olive oil. And, and that's what you need to use. Olive oil is real good. Um, uh, avocado oil is real good. And butter is real good. Pure butter, cream butter. Make sure it's real butter. Not, I can't believe it's not butter, not balanced butter, none of that stuff. You got to eat that. So what I'm getting at, so now I eat, I eat a taco. Uh, I eat my tacos and I eat them like in a salad and I eat the meat and everything like that, the cheese, extra cheese and everything. And, and, and I'm good and I'm good and I don't feel bloated. I don't feel bloated no more, man. I don't feel bloated no more. I get up, you know, when I go to sleep every day when I'm about to get up, I touch myself. I, I, I That sounds funny. I, I touch my stomach, right? And, 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 and I do that. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I do that because I feel like, is this a dream? I want to make sure this is not a dream, you know, but no, it's not a dream. I work really, really, really hard, man. Really, really hard, man. What's up, Red? Hey, man. Been praying for you, bro. So, um, and I got those business cards for you, man, when you're ready, whenever you're ready for them, and I'll hook you up with them. So, um, man, I, I hope everybody's out there doing great, man, you know, and, and, and I guarantee you, um, if you just change the way you eat, if you leave this carbs and leave sugar alone, sugar's the devil. I'm going to tell you right now, sugar is the devil. Now, there's other substitute sugars you could eat. I made a cake today. I made a cake, a, a cookie cake for me and my wife. And um, I used uh, uh, monk fruit, monk fruit sugar. I used swerve sugar, a little bit of swerve sugar. And guess what? That's not sugar. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to give you diabetes. It's not going to give you high blood pressure. It's not going to make you bad in any kind of way. Stevia, that's another a sweetener you could use. That's good. Matter of fact, I got the leaves right here from Trishna Teas. Trishna Teas. Speaking of Trishna Teas, man, my tea is about to be up. It's about to be up. I signed a contract a few days ago. Uh, unstoppable health win is going to be good for type 2 diabetics It's going to be good for high blood pressure It's going to be for anxiety It's going to be good for a lot a lot of stuff it's going to make you lose weight it's going to give you energy because that's what i'm all about I, I, that's what i want to give the people and herb teas attack your body and they help your body really 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 good so let's let's where we're at okay so okay so yeah we also we got <laughs> so we got uh Ephraim. so Door service repair and installation. And that's good, man, because maybe one day I might need a door in one of my house. So they do all the doors and stuff like that. They do. I, I think I went to their Facebook one time. And they do all some doors and everything. Oh, my baby's on here. Clarissa, what's up, mama? So, so my daughter's on here. Cool. Love you, babe. So uh, anyway, man, so that's what's going on right now. You know, even my daughter can tell you, man, you know, that she feels real good about me. She says I look younger. Man, I'm about to be 40 eight years old 48 in january i've never been happy about my birthday you know what i'm saying i've always been like man i'm getting old i'm not saying i wouldn't have a party but um i've just never been happy about it you know but now i'm like man you know what i'm living longer um well only when god you know god's the main one for that but i'm just saying i'm not gonna hurt myself i'm not gonna rush myself to go anywhere you know what i'm saying so um man shout out to everybody on here man shout out to everybody on here man um 
Morales, what's up? So uh, everybody out there, man, I've been, I've been, you know, sometimes if you're living at home or, or, you, or you got a family and they're eating this and they're eating that and they're eating this, slowly, gradually get them to eat the way you're eating. Hey, you're buying the groceries. They can't tell you what to buy. You know, just buy stuff that's going to be healthy for the whole family, you know. And it's not even so much healthy. People think that, yeah, corn tortillas are no good. They're not, bro. Do not touch them. But you can get the three-carb tortillas or the four-carb tortillas the five or the five-carb tortillas. And you can put them in the olive oil. I do bonuelos like that. I do uh, other stuff like that. And you could do anything. You know, you could do your own burrito. Just, you know. And the best part about it, you're not eating a lot of carbs. And another thing people were talking about is, well, I seen you eat this and it got carbs. Yes, it got carbs. But it has three carbs. It has two carbs. It could even have four carbs. But guess what? Keto is a low carb, high fat, not a no carb, a low carb. You know, I get probably to this day, I probably get like about 14, 13, 15 carbs a day. That's what I probably get a day now. Um, the reason why, because I, I fast for 20 hours a day. So I don't eat till my wife gets home. So that's probably like about five o'clock, six o'clock when she gets here. That's what I was in. Cool. So you've been buying. So you've been buying the, um, the three carb, four carb, five carb tortillas. If you're talking about, I'm on the close door. Close my door. I'll be out there right now. My son just got in. They just got in. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to jump on here real quick, man, to let y'all know, man. If y'all doing keto, let's do it the right way, man. If y'all need any coaching, let me know and I help you out. Um, again, it's, it's it's not about the money. Yes, I do charge fifty dollars up front, but you could always pay me that. Three, four weeks, two weeks, one week, whatever, however you want to do it, man. Because I know that once I start getting you to drop that weight, you're not going to have no problem with paying me that $50 because I make things happen. But you're the first one that got to make things happen. You have to. Okay, cool, cool. Yes, that, that's awesome. That's awesome. So so that's it, guys. So if, if, if y'all doing keto, do it the right way, man. And if y'all if y'all miss ice cream, go get the Halo Top and don't eat the whole ice cream just get you a couple of spoons and and enjoy it always count your carbs always count your carbs always not your calories your carbs count your carbs and uh if i'm coaching you then i tell you okay for the first week i want to put you at 30 carbs depending on how heavy you are and then the second week i put you at 20 carbs after 20 carbs i mean uh, so it's no it's 40 30 and then 20 that's what i do 40 30 and 20 and then when you're at 20 carbs, you stay at 20 carbs, okay? If you go less than 20 carbs, that's fine. But there's a lot of stuff out there you can eat. There's a lot of stuff out there you can eat that you feel that keto, man, you think keto locks you down that, oh, my God, it's the lifestyle, and I can't eat this, I can't eat that, I can't eat this, but you can eat everything. You know you know what I made today? I made, I made that casserole today. Did you know what I used instead of tortillas on it? I'm going to tell you what I used. And this was a recipe that I was going to use when my recipe book came out. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I use. And if y'all use it, just give me props or, you know, don't forget who came up with it. So I went to the deli and I was looking at some stuff and right. And then something just hit my head and I said, you know what? What if I got that chicken and I get him to slice it up thin and I could use that for my tortillas, right? So then I asked him, of course, I asked him, I said, how many carbs the chicken has? And then they looked at me like I was crazy, but then they turned it around and said, oh, this one got no carbs, right? So then um, I got that chicken. And the reason why, because I remember um, I was looking at something and they were saying, they were talking about, uh, oh, nacho chicken chips. They were talking about that, but something totally different. And um, I said, well, I don't know why it wouldn't work, right? So anyway, so I got this chicken and I brought it home and I fried it up a little bit in the olive oil, right? And then I put it on the bottom, right? So I put it on the bottom of, of the, 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 the dish. And then I put, um, and I'm gonna tell you how it is. So I, I put that in the bottom and then I put spinach and then I put ricotta cheese and then I put the chicken 
that that I that I put inside the poblano peppers that I had boiled that I had fried up a little bit and I and I blend you know my blender and I put it has sour cream it had a um heavy, a little bit heavy cream it had um chiles it had onion it had garlic it had cilantro and it, and it had um jalapenos little jalapenos so it was so so delicious right so i had that and i, I simmered that in with my chicken right so the chicken i cooked it in my my um instant pot and which you can order from my, my online store you know um which is uh unstoppable shop access unstoppable ch- shop access i was that unstoppable shop access so I put this and I, I cooked the breast in there and I brought the breast out. I chopped them up and then I put them into the bowl and then I put it on top and then I put Monterey Jack cheese and then I put a, um, uh, I still can't remember the other Jack, the other cheese, but it's, it's like a spicy cheese. So I put that cheese on there too. Man, it was so, so delicious. You don't believe me, you ask my wife. It was so, so delicious, man. So, you know, I really appreciate everybody, man. I appreciate it. Shout out to my sister-in-law. I really appreciate everybody on here, man. Um, any questions real quick? Cause I got to jump off there. Oh, almost seven, 10 minutes. So we're good. So any, que- any questions, man, anybody got any questions? Give me some questions over here. So, um, I hope everybody's being blessed doing, doing amazing and stuff like that. So man, I feel good. I feel amazing every day, man. I'm sorry if y'all getting tired of, of me, the way I feel, but man, I feel good. You know, I feel real, real good. What's up, Angie? So, um, any questions? Let me know, man. And like I said, if y'all need a you need a coach, and and I'm I'm a coach for keto. I'm also a coach for intermittent fasting. If you need if you need some some good product that I sell, prove it. Or if you want to become a distributor with me, the reason why I sell this because it's cheaper for me. That's why I sell it. Plus, sometimes if I make sales, hey, there's commission, there's money out of it, and there's good product. But the main reason why I sell it is because it's good product that I take and I take it every other day and I'll show you how I take it with the apple cider vinegar and everything like that. <clears throat> pepper Jack, there it goes, bro. I couldn't remember it. I couldn't remember to save my life. Yeah, Pepper Jack. So it was it was um, Monterey Jack cheese and Pepper Jack cheese and, of course, the ricotta cheese and then the cheddar cheese. Man, it was off the chain. It was really, really good. It was really, really good. For the people I've been coaching, I'm going to make a big, big meal and when you get to your goal and you drop your weight, then you're going to come eat, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to eat. And I also got a shirt for y'all, man. I'm, I'm getting a shirt done. That, that I, I don't know. I can't tell you what the shirt's going to say yet, but I'm working on something that's, gonna, that's, that's nice. So you can wear it around. They'd be like, oh, okay, okay. So, that, so that's why you look different. So that's why, you know. So hey, shout out to Melissa, man. Shout out to Sosa. What's up? Shout out to all of y'all, man. Shout out to all of y'all. And remember, if they're looking for a DJ, hit me up, man, 832-715-2557. You already know how I put it down. You already know. I go 110% with everything. Oh, how, how big was I back then? I was uh, close to 270 pounds, bro. You could um, you could go to my page, and I did a video not, I, I did a video that I did a while back. for the, I, did, I was at the Texans game probably about a year ago or, or something like that. Yeah, about a year ago. And you could see me, and I'm DJing, and I'm talking, bro. And you could see that I'm making up words because I can't breathe, you know. That was one of the problems I couldn't do. I couldn't breathe. I was feeling bad. And there's a story behind that. Also, um, y'all can go to my Facebook. I mean, not my Facebook. Y'all can go to my YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Keto is Life, without no spaces, Keto is Life. And you can see all the videos. You can see all the videos, and those videos will help you out if you're doing keto. If there's something that you're doing, it just can help you out. It can put that ego. It can it can help your ego, man, because sometimes we need somebody to feed our ego. We need somebody to, to, to give us motivation. It's like, you know, we can do it, man. We can do it. And sometimes when we don't get that, we fall off. You know, we fall off. When we really didn't need it, we really didn't need it from the get-go. But... I hope I hope I am giving, you know, somebody hit me up that day and said, man, you're really um, you're really you're really good at talking to people. People are really listening to you, man. And I, and, and, and I never knew this was my calling, man. I never knew I was supposed to be doing this. You know, my idea was just to drop weight and lose and get better health. But when I did one video, people were hitting me up and stuff like that. So that's why I'm here today.
Look, we, we, I get in the zone, boy. I get in the zone. We're about to get, we're about to hit 30 minutes. Hey, man, I appreciate everybody, man. Thank y'all. Um, I wanted to come out right here because somebody told me to come a little later when they get out of work and stuff like that. So I'm going to see how many people I got on here and then maybe I'll, I'll switch it off, you know, between two something and right now. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all. Y'all be blessed, man. If y'all need any of my help, uh, please hit me up. 832-715-2557. Y'all be blessed. Good night.